Good morning and happy Easter to everybody. Here it is on Sunday morning and we are in the book of Job on Easter, but I promise this is going to end well. So we're reading from Job chapters 29 and 30 and we're going to start with the scripture verses of the day because they happen to be right at the beginning of chapter 29. And it says, and this is 29 verses 2 through 5 in the New Living Translation. I long for the years gone by when God took care of me, when he lit up the way before me, and I walked safely through the darkness. When I was in my prime, God's friendship was felt in my home. The Almighty was still with me, and my children were around me. Do you catch what he said? The Almighty was still with him. He's believing something, isn't he? He's believing that God is not with him. This reminds me of some wise advice from Solomon in Ecclesiastes 7 verse 10. It says, Do not say, Why were the old days better than these? For it is not wise to ask such questions. I remember a time when I asked God if my life would ever be easier again. I had been diagnosed with a number of autoimmune diseases. I was not feeling well. My oldest daughter was diagnosed with celiac disease. It just seemed like everything was falling apart. Have you ever been there? And you just wonder, why were the old days better than these? If you haven't asked that question, kudos to you. But <laughs> probably most of us have asked that. And at that time when I asked that, God said to me, no, it's not gonna get easier. I just wanted to have a sense, and my peace was that I was gonna have ease. Okay, maybe that's you. Maybe your peace is you just want ease. But that really isn't the best goal, is it? Good morning, you guys. Good morning, Tanya and Rob and Monica. Happy Easter, you guys. So, you know, and I had walked through a miscarriage and all these things. And at that moment, I realized it was futile to look to the past and say, why were those days better? The Israelites wanted to return to eating onions when they were in slavery, right? That was messed up perspective as well. Certainly those times were not better than after God had rescued them, were they? But when we are tested by fiery trials, looking backwards is not our rescue. God is with us. Notice that Job said, when God was with me, see, he had forgotten that God was still with him right there in the midst. This is our rescue at all times. We have a God who is present. He is in the future and he already knows the end. Let's look at what Job missed from the past. If we read, if you read John, uh, not John, sorry, Job 29 and 30 this morning, you're gonna see that what he's lamenting is man's praise. He's lamenting the fact that he's feeling shame. He missed man's favor, respect, respect and praise. And isn't this something we can relate to? We have all had times when we are popular and times when we don't feel popular, <laughs> more the unpopular. <laughs> but Job was feeling shame, shame that he was belittled, shame that he was going through suffering. This wasn't supposed to be his story. I remember saying those words. This wasn't supposed to be my story. I don't want this testimony. I wanted the better testimony, you know? And that's really what I think Job was feeling here. He was feeling less than. It's really a game of that was then, this is now. I prefer then. Then I was revered, now I mocked. Then I was blessed, now I suffer. Job lost his perspective in this moment as he focused on his suffering and not on our deliverer. We can all lose perspective. But let's remember a time when Job was suffering, but he remembered the truth. The truth that set him free in the midst of that suffering, that overrides all pain and sorrow. His Redeemer lives. Job 19 verses 25 through 27 says, I know that my Redeemer lives and that in the end, and, and he will stand on the earth. And after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh, I will see God. I myself will see him with my own eyes. I and not another. How my heart yearns within me. This is our hope today in Easter. Our Redeemer lives. 
We live in a time where the words of Job have already been fulfilled. Christ came, Christ died for our sins, Christ rose again, Christ overcame and conquered death. We have no more fear of death. Death has lost its sting. Our Redeemer lives. So the application today for us guys is when we are tempted to look to the past, look to the one who holds the past who was there before time began, who holds the future, who's already there in the future right now. He's outside time. He holds you and me. Living in the past is not growing in the grace of God. Pursuing the past is an escape or an attempt at escape. It won't work, y'all. And pursuing comfort is an idol rather than trusting God in the fire. When our perspective becomes focused on that hard place, we need to lean on God's grace. He's enough. He is enough. And our God is with us. Our Redeemer lives, friends. He was there before time began, and he is already there at the end. He lives. Happy Easter, y'all. You guys go with God, and I'm going to go ahead and lead worship now at my church. But you have a blessed Easter day, and Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow.